Hi, I'm sitting at what they call a Dutch angle. Probably not, but like the camera's crooked and I can't get it fixed because it's sitting on top of a Trump game that my mom liked. <sighs> this is the world we live in. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, I was going to do a book review, but nobody gives a shit about which book I read. I uh, put a poll on my Instagram and uh, the Instagrammers, Instagramites, Instagramians want to see some boobies instead. So I'm going to show you some boobies. My friend Janie. I painted her a few times, and uh, yeah, so I painted her again. It's it's, uh, it's thrilling. Words are hard. Uh, I'm gonna describe what I'm doing as I do it, but it's gonna be a kind of a sped up video because otherwise it'd be way too damn long. And while I would love it if you would watch me sketch titties for an hour, I don't think anyone's realistically gonna do that. So yeah, here we go. And I will talk to you soon. Oh, follow my Instagram, Taylor Winder, and uh, I'm gonna give away some shit at some point soon. Uh, probably when I hit a thousand followers on there. And what else? I don't know. Like, subscribe, all that crap. If you want. If not, what am I going to do about it? So, Without further ado, naked people. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank Janie for sending me a naked photo and for, you know, letting me record this video. Secondly, I want to apologize for the angle of this video. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Um, it looked good <laughs> when every time I looked over my shoulder, but then I realized my fat shoulders were blocking pretty much the entire thing. So sorry about it, that. Uh, right now I'm just sketching the thing. And sketching is very important. It helps you lay out the page, but also helps you get your proportions right. It's sort of like your one shot of uh, getting everything set and correct. Now, what I'm trying to do here is basically, yeah, fill out the entire page roughly and then get the proportions of the figure down right. I think I came pretty close with this. Um, and then, yeah, the third objective is to lay down some interesting marks. I don't delete all of my sketches. I like to work on top of them. And, uh, yeah, they kind of form the, the foundation or the framework for everything. So this is the basic layout of it. Uh, I wanted to give the figure room to breathe and have a lot of negative space around it because uh, when I this piece is 60 by 20 and for a long time I was working mostly on 8 by 10s as far as nudes go and and I would kind of push the subject up really towards the front of the composition and while that is an interesting effect it kind of could make things feel a little bit claustrophobic and so I wanted to air things out a bit and sort of give the idea of space around the figure. And that's kind of what's going on here. So yeah, there's that. Um, and then next I'm going to start, well, coloring. Uh, but that's after I have a sip of that bourbon that you can see on the far left there. And yes, I did take my glasses off for this because who needs glasses when you do work as undetailed as I do? Undetailed, rough, whatever. Words are hard. But yeah, anyways. That's um, about it for the sketching. All right, coloring. Um, I'm using very watered down acrylics here in a limited palette. I only have like four or five colors I'm working with, none of which are super lifelike. Um, I, I, and that's on purpose. I think watered down colors, <laughs> especially, it's tricky to make them look real. So I'm going for interesting over real. And that's kind of how I always tend to work. Um, I get the paper really wet, I fill in shapes, and I go from there. Um, basically, and here's where the camera decides to focus on my fat head instead of the paper. I, I'm blocking out, you know, shadows in, in cool tones and uh, highlights in warm tones. And just filling in it, it's not really like color by number or anything it's kind of intuitive and, and it kind of i just do what i like and i'm trying to make interesting shapes that are relatively true to at least the forms in life now i'm adding a quick layer of varnish to the the piece because for the next step i'm going to now add well sharpie and uh yeah i have to color up some cover up some boobs right there and so i'm just adding sharpie to kind of delineate some some edges some sharp edges as it were uh i'm not entirely outlining the entire piece in that it i used to do that and it ended up looking fairly comic booky and i'm trying to avoid 
being purely comic with some of this. So this is kind of the end of the piece. Um, I hope Janie ends up liking it, and I hope you guys like it. Uh, if anyone wants to post for me, let me know. Shoot me a message or send me a comment or get a hold of me on Instagram, and we can work something out. But yeah, here's basically the end piece. It's kind of a homage to boobs and PBR and days gone past and dog parks and my friend Janie. So, bye bye for now. And go away. Right.